Uh, my name is Luis Castillo uh, and welcome to a Chingo demo. Uh, today we are going to show you uh, a demo to how to deploy an API uh, to, on render. Um, right now what I have um, on my screen is an API, simple just an API. The, it's a CRUD uh, API. The, create an items, uh, read items, uh, update and delete. And this API is being created in Node.js, uh, with Express and MongoDB. Um, right now, this is the URI for the uh, MongoDB. Um, yeah, you can notice the username and password is here. Uh, but this password is just for demo purposes. Uh, it won't be not available after this video. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so in order to um, to deploy in render, uh, the way we can do it, um, deploying this, let's say, uh, let's uh, upload this re uh, application on GitHub. I already did that. Um, so already deploy, uh, upload this repo to my GitHub. So it's already there. So right now, uh, if I go to my GitHub, uh, and if I go to my repos. And I create a API demos. Um, this is basically uh, the same application that I, I show on the Visual Studio. So saying this now that this application is in GitHub. So let's go uh, ahead and start showing how to deploy this on render. So Let's go to render.com and when you go to render.com, this is the main page, uh, what you can see. And the reason um, a lot of developers use uh, to deploy the API on render, um, one thing is it's free. Uh, they have an option that you can uh, deploy for free and we can take advantage on this um, option that they have if you just want to have an application just for a demo purpose or just uh, for you wanted to show up and show it to somebody. So right now I'm already logging on on render but if you are not you should be able to see uh, an option that say login or register. So if you see that if you don't have render so go ahead and register. But after you register, uh, you should be able to go to your dashboard. So when you go to your dashboard, um, you will see this um, main screen here. So the application, that we, uh, API that we have is a web server. Um, you will need to go to your um, create a new web server. And go ahead and let's click on web server. Uh, and this is gonna load over here. Um, if you have seen it for the, this is it's showing already here a list of repo for me because I already be logging and already deploy some stuff here. Uh, but for your first time, you won't see anything here. Uh, in order for you to connect your GitHub uh, to your application uh, to your render account, you can be able to click uh, the configuration account and you it will take you to GitHub. In my case, you know, I got Chingu and also my personal one. So if you want to show your personal one, let's say you can go and click configure. And if you just want to see some select repo uh, to see it on the list, you can click on select, only select repository. And in this case, let's say if I click here and 
let's see API which is the one that uh, I'm going to deploy you can choose this and it's gonna show basically just one um, if you want to see all of yours then you can just click all repository but let's say in this case I'm gonna show just the API demo that I'm showing today um, after you select that then you hit save and say you are only permitted to remove a hundred repository at this time um, it's asking me to install render uh, right now so let's uh, let's do it for just the only select repository that I, I select uh, so let's say API that's basically the name that I call it API demo and let's install it so as soon as I do that um, you yeah, can see my list is smaller and it show basically the ones that I have here the API demo one and basically this will show up here for you get up so I want to deploy my API demo for today so I will be able to just click on connect here when you click connect the first thing is going to show is the name so you can go ahead and put anything here the, whichever name you want to call um, your backend API um, today I will call it uh, Chingu demo API um, region you can choose either one um, or your US West um, I think it won't matter that much um, but in my case let's say I'm I'm in US Easter time so I'm going to this and the branch so what branch are you going to basically base on deploy and let's go to my github and let's go to that repository and the repository is the API demo so my everything that has been uh, it's on this code it is on my main branch I only have right now just main so this is what they refer to what branch you want to deploy so in my case uh, we'll leave it at main because that's what I have um, root directory uh, this is uh, an important part too let's say if you're creating uh, a back-end and a front-end application in the same repo and you call it front-end and the all the folder back-end uh, you can specify here which one you want to deploy so if you have a folder directory that it's uh, front-end then you can specify which one you want to deploy in my case right now I only have just the API uh, no uh, fault directory so that's my root directory I just leave it a blank and I'm using no um, if you're using Ruby Python any other ones uh, just choose the one you need to um, the next one is um, build command by default they have yarn uh, and when I create this application this API I use on uh, npm so I will change this for npm install uh, which is the way I, I create my uh, application and the start command it will be they give you as an example if you're using your star uh, npm star anything like that uh, in my case uh, I initialized this with no uh, and then the initialization for this application is the index.js so I will create I will write no index.js which is my uh, file that I started and after you create, uh, you write this, uh, 
then you should be able to now um, create web server um, I'm gonna also create uh, give it a note if you since I have my uh, I'm exposed in my mongo URI here typically the correct way is to create an .env file where you can add this um, and you don't have to expose it here uh, if you have something like that you will have to go to the events and then add in, uh, environment variable uh, which you will process uh, your .env file and then you will be fine in my case I don't have any .env this is the demo purpose for just how to deploy an API on render uh, so since I don't have anything uh, I should be fine by just uh, create a web server so create a web server uh, you t right away you get a link uh, here with the name you also start getting the deployment process and the status here um, is basically taking my last commit I only have one which was I call the first commit and it's basically saying build successful now it's going to stage on deploying and let's wait this take a few minutes um, to deploy So it's saying deploy when you can see here it's in progress started now saying starting server with no the command that I told it to do it no index server is running on port 1000 and it's connected to my MongoDB and it say your service is live on uh, the status is live with this mean it's um this api it should be working so if i go ahead and click it i uh, it's a can i get since this is an item um this is the api link so i'm gonna show a demo creating uh i'm gonna use a uh, postman to um, make an API call so I'm going to open my postman and let's take uh, this API here and Let's change this here and then the my post um, API it's on items so I will call items here and then, then what you do I'm gonna go ahead and go to my you know my body's already here and create my JSON um, Let's say the first item I'm gonna create would be I'm gonna be a name and it's gonna call it Jingu. And description um, Jingu developer. Developer. Let's change this to a post and let's test it now. So if I go and hit send and great it's being status 200 it's being created successful uh name chingu and that's the response let's try see if i can do a get and great it's successful it seems that i have something else before there and this is the create one if i go to now to my browser 
I should be able to see those API if I go to slash items and this is the API. Uh, this is how you deploy an API uh, on render and hopefully uh, you enjoy it. Um, thank you for watching and see you ne the next time. Thank you.